Brother, this question is from a non-Muslim sister. She is present in the audience, but for security reasons, she will not like to come on the microphone. I will be reading her question. Welcome. If a non-Muslim girl wants to marry a Muslim boy, and the Muslim boy asks the girl to convert, not by force, but because he wishes her to accept the religion, is it wrong? Meaning, is it wrong on the part of the boy to ask to convert? Secondly, if a non-Muslim girl marries a Muslim boy without converting but still follows the Islamic religion as it is supposed to be followed, is it wrong on the part of the girl to follow the religion but without converting? Her name is Khushbu. She is a teacher by profession. Sister asked the question that the non-Muslim had to ask a question that can a non-Muslim girl, if she wants to marry a Muslim boy and the Muslim boy request her to accept Islam, is it right? And if a non-Muslim girl follows Islam without converting, is it acceptable? The Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 221, that do not marry unbelieving women until they believe. Do not marry a mushrika until they believe. Because it further says that it is preferable to marry a believing woman even if she is a bond woman, even if she may be a servant, even if she may be ugly. It is far superior to marry a believing woman who is a bond woman rather than an unbelieving woman even if she attracts you. She may be the most beautiful woman, she may be a beauty queen, she may be the wealthiest woman, but a believing woman is far superior. So in terms of is it right for a Muslim man to ask the non-Muslim woman to convert before marrying? It is not right, it is a must. Without she accepting Islam, he cannot marry her. Coming to your second question that why I tell you for example if I tell you that there is a car one tire is of a cycle and the other is of a tractor will the car run? no all the tires should either be of a bicycle you will have a handcart at least or of a tractor you will have a proper tractor because when you are leading a life the views and philosophies the major thing the goal of Jannah should be same coming to your second question that if a woman follows the teachings of of Islam but does not convert. Is it acceptable? See, for conversion, you don't have to publicly announce. You don't have to come on the microphone and say, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. It's not a must. If you feel your life is in danger, if you say within your hearts and tell it to Almighty God, you don't even require any witness. It is between you and Allah. So there is no particular ceremony that is required but proclaiming is preferable so that the people in the world don't misunderstand you but if you feel your life is in danger if you proclaim to Allah only and keep it in your heart and follow Alhamdulillah following is more important than proclaiming it is preferable for the lady not to mention but yet follow Islam than to mention she has converted and not follow Islam have you heard my answer? It is preferable for a non-Muslim woman to practice Islam without proclaiming rather than proclaim and not practice Islam. Practicing is more important than proclaiming. It is between her and Allah. So the moment she starts practicing Islam, it is understood. When she offers Salah, she agrees there is one Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. The moment you say Akama, it is, it is in that Akama you believe that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Finish Salah. So if she starts practicing, she doesn't have to proclaim also. So if she wants to do the second, practicing is more important than proclaiming. But if she wants to proclaim, it is fine, she can proclaim. Hope that answers the question.